Yo guys, so I just saw this prank on TikTok and I want to get my dad with it. He's not here right now. I'm waiting for him to get back home right now. Check this out. You ready? Right here, we got water coming out of the bathroom. Yo, he's pulling up right now. Yo, yo, hey, there's water coming out of the bathroom. Hey, what? There's water coming out of the bathroom. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Listen, so I thought today I'd show you guys a bunch of my fake sneakers. Now listen, I know what you might be thinking like, Oh yeah, but, but Connor is fake sneakers. <laughs> yes. Fake sneakers. I've never been like a huge fan on fake sneakers. Like I wouldn't normally go out in public and really rock fake sneakers. Mainly because I... I just don't feel like getting roasted. I don't want to be a rotisserie chicken. Do you roast? Roast? History chicken? Anyways, yeah, I've, uh, I've spent a lot of money on fake sneakers, believe it or not. I spent a lot of money on sneakers in general. But yeah, let's start this off with the big one. Yeah, that's right, baby. I'm talking some, some big boys. Do, do, do. Check it out. Right here, we have a pair of vans. Well, it's just one van. Don't worry now, there's no candy inside. <laughs> But yeah, check it out. This right here is a skate high old school van. This thing is massive. This is like a size 66. Listen, anyone who fits this shoe, your schlong must be like an Eiffel Tower. It's a pretty big shoe. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the materials on here are actually amazing. Like, it's literally all the materials that are used in an old school van. Like, check it out. We got some leather on the inside. Right here on the tongue, you got number one skateboard shoe. Everything is pretty spot on with the materials, the sole, everything. Now check this out. This is the normal size right here. This is a size eight. Now this was supposed to be like a promotional thing at Vans. Like they put this outside of one of their windows. You know how they got stuff in the mall where they like have something in the glass? Well, that's pretty much what this is. So technically it is an authentic Vans product, but I don't think anybody's gonna be wearing it anytime soon, unless you got an Eiffel Tower. But yeah, that's the first shoe right there. Old school van. Boom. Next up, right here, we have a pair of Yeezy Foam Runners. Now, right now, the authentic pair of these are going for around like $650, but I got these things off a of Wish for like 10 bucks. You can't beat that, baby. Now, I bought these to actually hydro dip. Now, I didn't end up hydro dipping these things in the past, but I got two pairs. Tell me if you guys want to see me hydro dip these right here. Now, let me tell you one thing the material on these, they're a little crunchy. It's actually getting me a little hungry. It's reminding me of some Captain Crunch. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure on the originals, they're uh, more of like a cream instead of a white. But yeah, tell me if you guys want me to hydro dip these. Next shoe. Next up, right here. Come on. You saw it coming. You knew it was going to happen. Right here, we got a pair of the Jordan 1 Dior's. Now, this shoe is going for uh, too much money right now. And that's why we got a Fugazi pair. Oh! To prove that it is Fugazi, I, I wouldn't be doing this if I had the real one. And don't forget to... Thank you. Now these right here, I did end up spending a little bit on, alright? I ended up spending about like $200 on these things. You know, I wish I could say they were like extremely good fakes and the material is amazing and the, 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 the Dior looks great. But you know what? I... I can't. I, I can't. You can see on the Nike swoosh, the Dior is kind of like leaning, all right? It's just like taking off. It's like, hi, yeah, I, I'm here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what's going on? I'm here, hi. She's kind of drifting off a little bit, all right? It's not straight up and down. The bottoms are not as blue. <laughs> Why do I get those random hiccups? Go in the comments and tell me if any of you guys get those random hiccups. And it's just one. Comes out of flipping nowhere. <laughs> Definitely not the best fake I have seen you know better fakes out there on the inside of the shoe they even put that little like dior leather in there i rate that in in o for okay okay next up in the collection now these shoes are tricky okay check these out right here you may or may not have seen these before let me talk about these. These right here look like the chicago jordan ones right except you can see we got a, a bird's nest of laces surrounding the entire shoe. What's poppin'? And we got a tongue that goes up to your knees. Nice. 
When I see these tongues, do you know what I hear? Nothing can stop me, I'm on it! These tongues are like towers, all right? Put them together, you got twin, ah! Ooh. These shoes right here are called Vogel Stands. Now, the designer who did these, his name is Rick Owens. There's Rick Owens right there on the side of the shoe instead of Air Jordan. Now, here's the thing about these shoes. Are they really considered fakes? Like, that's not a Nike swoosh right there. It just looks like it. And right now, these shoes are selling for like close to $1,000. It is almost like a direct copy from Jordan brand, but what do you guys think? Because like the colorway and style is like the Chicago ones, but they're selling for close to a thousand dollars and it's from the designer Rick Owens. Are they fake? I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like, you know. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. That's why I thought I'd just throw these in the video. Because they're pretty cool. They're unique. I like them. I just like how they stand out and stand up. Those things are bigger than Osiris tongues. Like, so back to 2012. Next up right here, we're bringing it back to the future. Eh, eh, he said it, he said it. Check it out, right here, you see the box. You know what's about to be inside here. He's <gasps> right, a pair of Nike mags. Well, eh, eh. No. No, these aren't a pair of Nike mags. These right here are Fikey fa demonetization. Yeah, so these right here are the closest things that I've ever had my hands on to Nike mags. These shoes right here are the Halloween edition to the Nike mags. So there is this one Halloween store, uh, Halloween costumes or something like that, dot com. I wonder what they sell on that site. They sell car parts, right? But yeah, this right here is the little confirmation letter that I got from them. So these shoes right here are a part of a Marty McFly Halloween costume. You can see on the back, it does not say Nike mag. It does not say nothing. There's no Nike swoosh, no Back to the Future, nothing. They do light up, but these ones are dead. But yeah, so they sold these shoes and sure enough, they sold out, all right? Everyone wanted these things. And now they're going for like close to $200, which is ridiculous. $200 for a, a Halloween costume shoe. Nike mag, baby. Now, one thing though, I do have another pair of these, but I ended up hydro dipping them. Check it out. Hey, these ones are alive, except why does, turn on! This sucks, it won't turn on. This one's burnt out. But yeah, check these out. I ended up hydro dipping these ones right here. I did like a white and blue colorway. I think they turned out pretty fire. One of my dreams is to definitely get a pair of Nike mags one day. I think it'd be dope. Such a sick shoe is just, they pretty expensive. I have crippling depression. Whoa, 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 stop what you're doing right now. If you are not tuned into this video and you are not watching right now, you're gonna wanna pay attention right now. You know why? Because we're about to start the giveaway. Yeah, it's giveaway time. What, oh, what, what's that that I'm giving away? Well, right here behind curtain number uh, nothing, right here we have a pair of off-white Jordan 5s that I am giving away for free. And yes, they are DS. All you guys have to do is go follow me at Connor TV on Instagram and go follow Legit App on Instagram. Download the Jet app and use the promo code ConnorTV and you guys can get your hands on these off-white fives right here. I'm going to be picking a winner soon, so definitely make sure you enter. I'll be posting the winner on my Instagram story and I'll shoot you a DM if you win, so stay tuned. But show, last but not least, right here, we got another expensive fake shoe. Now one thing about these is this is another one of those shoes where it's like... Do you really call those a fake? Like, I can't even tell you. Like, we need a word to describe stuff like this. Like, a shoe that's, like, reselling, but it's not made by, like, an authentic, like, brand. I'm gonna call them the Gerlicas, all right? Oh, what's that mean? A, a girthy replica. <clears throat> I don't like it. Nope, scratch it. Check these out though. These right here are a pair of Warren Lotuses. They literally look exactly like a Dunk Low, but these things, they sold out. Now Warren Lotus was gonna end up making another pair of these, but uh, yeah, a little someone found out about that and that little someone is Nike. Nike shut it down. I actually wanted them so bad, they were gonna have like a pigeon colorway. Yeah, you guys know the colorway, all right? The staple pigeon dunk lows. It would have been so fire, all right? I would have loved to get those. They did make other colorways of these things too, which are reselling for even more. So like technically, these shoes are banned. I don't think Warren Lotus is gonna 
going to be releasing any more shoes like these right here. It's literally a dunk low, all right? A dunk low with the Jason Nike swoosh. On the bottom, you can see there's no Nike branding. It has WL for Warren Lotus. Everything about these, like material, you know, laces, they're pretty legit. Even like putting them on my feet, they feel like a dunk low. You can see we got that WL branding on the tongue. One thing that I have realized though, is like the material on the inside right here, like on the inside of the tongue, it's starting to like yellow. And I, these are, I haven't even like worn these. I mean, I, I have, I've worn them once. I'm exposing myself already. Even like putting them on my feet, they feel like a dunk low. I haven't even like worn these. I put them on once. I literally, I didn't even walk around with them. And you can see, it's almost like the material they use is see-through and you can see like a sponge or something like that on the inside. Other than that though, I absolutely love these shoes. I think they're fire. They're actually going for around like $400 right now. Fun show guys, that right there is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Before I go though, I just wanted to tell you guys that recently I've been seeing that the views are a little down on the channel. And you know what, that's okay. I just really wanna thank you guys who are sticking around and watching the videos. For all of you guys who are still watching, you really mean the world to me. I started up YouTube just wanting to like make people smile or laugh and just to like do what I love and have fun with it. But guys, I'm kicking into grind mode. I'm gonna be kicking out a ton of content for you guys. Coming up, I got a pretty flipping good idea, all right? Which is gonna make for a great video. It's something to do with my car, all right? Let me just tell you that. Let me just say it's about to be a banger. But y'all guys, as always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I love you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.